Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect a WinTech HMI to an Arduino Uno using an RS485 to TTL converter. You may have seen a previous video where we performed a similar demonstration, but we've received some comments indicating that some of the libraries used no longer work. So we've created this updated tutorial to help you get back on track. With that, let's get started. To begin, I'll open the Arduino IDE. Within this demonstration, we'll use two libraries, Arduino Uno, RS485, and Arduino Modbus. To download these libraries, select Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, and in the Library Manager, type Modbus within the search bar. The first result should be Arduino Modbus by Arduino. That's the one we'll need for this demonstration. Once the Modbus library is installed, we'll use an example project to serve as a template. To open the example, select File, Examples, and scroll down to Arduino Modbus. Here, you'll see options for RTU and TCP. Since we're using RS-485, we'll select RTU. Within this demonstration, I'll use the Modbus RTU Server LED example project. This will open in a new tab. At the top of the example code, you'll see that the required libraries are already included. The LED pin is referenced, but I'll change this to pin 13, as I'll be using my own LED for demonstration purposes. The setup and loop parameters can be left at their default values for now, but we'll need to make one small modification to the Modbus RTU server begin method. This method requires three parameters. The ID of the device, which is set to one by default. The baud rate, the default is 9600, which we'll keep. And the configuration, which specifies the number of data bits, parity, and stop bits. By hovering over the begin method, and I should note that I'm using Arduino IDE version 2.3.3, you may see a pop-up menu that provides information related to the parameter requirements. Within this dialog, I'll copy and paste serial 8N1 into the placeholder for our third parameter. With that said, let's configure some coils and holding registers. Since the example already includes the configure coils function call, I'll adjust the second parameter to increase the number of coils to 100. The holding registers may be configured in a similar manner. With our code set, it's time to download this project to our Arduino Uno. But before downloading, please make sure to unplug any wires connected to the TX and RX pins on the Arduino Uno. Otherwise, the download might fail. Once the download is complete, we can then reconnect those wires. Now, let's wire the RS485 to TTL converter. On the RS485 side, you'll find ground, B- and a plus pins. Refer to the HMI pinout to ensure the correct wiring. I'm using a solderless DB9 connector to wire the RS-45 converter to the HMI. The pinout is as follows. Data minus to B minus, data plus to A plus, and ground connects to the ground pin on the RS-45 converter. On the TTL side, connect the 5V, TXD, RXD, and ground wires to the UNO. TXD from the converter should go to RX on the Arduino. And conversely, RXD should go to TX. To set up our HMI, I'll open Easy Builder Pro and select our HMI model. When you first open Easy Builder Pro, you'll see the System Parameters Settings menu. This is where we'll add the Modbus RTU driver to communicate with the Arduino. To add this driver, select New Device slash Server. Then, within the Device Type drop-down list, search for Modbus RTU. In the settings, ensure the baud rate, data bits, parity, and stop bits match what we configured earlier. In this case, 9600 for the baud rate and 8N1 meaning 
eight data bits, no parity, and one stop bit. Now, I'll navigate to the Object tab and create a toggle switch to control the LED. I'll set the address to 0x1. This will control the first coil in the Arduino. After placing the toggle switch, select Download within the Project tab to download this project to your HMI. Once the project is installed, connect the serial cable from the converter to the HMI. You should see the toggle switch on the HMI display. If everything is wired correctly, toggling the switch should turn the LED on or off. If the switch doesn't appear or the LED doesn't respond, double check your wiring, communication settings, and make sure that the TX and RX pins are connected correctly. That's it for this demonstration. You should now have a working connection between your WinTech HMI and Arduino Uno using Modbus RTU. If you have any questions or comments related to this tutorial, please leave them within the comments section below. And, as always, feel free to check out our forum for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.